zero, and you tell him, you start, the player starts to spawn, he gets to, you loop that. Then he wants to walk, get it to that loop right here. He wants to run, transfer it to that. All right? And you put them one on the same timeline. So the clip stuff, you guys, fairly cool. You make all your stuff, you make all your clips. That's just like the modern way of having a sheet with all the lines. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's all it is. And you just actually put them all one after the others, you'll have them all in your timeline. And then you can transfer that, you know, and export that for your game engine, and you're done. So, and you can see the blending, okay, because you can put them on top of each other, like that, you know, so we'll see able to, if it blends perfectly at any moment, and when it doesn't blend properly. Better than that, deeper than that, you can see how to push your frames. Remember I talked to you guys about pushing frames in animation for video games would be, uh, you know, you can be shooting when you're right here. You can be shooting when you're right here. You can be shooting when you're right here. Okay? Or you can stop. Let's talk about stopping is better, actually. You're walking and you're in that position right here and you want to stop. And the stop is always like that. Okay? Well, they might, if you're right in that position, they might back you a couple frames. Because only three frames, you won't see it. You know what I'm saying? It's about pushing frames. Or if you're right here, they'll push you three frames forward. Okay, well with that technique you make your clips and then you super expose your clip on top of each other's and then you can see at what point the pushing is better one way or the others and what blends the best. I would think it's usually better to go forward. Uh, usually better, but I've seen Bionic Commando going backward all yeah, the time. They, yeah, that game is like, it's, they do that. It's <laughs> trippy. Yeah, it really is. If you're paying attention to it, but like 90% of the people... Don't pay attention. I totally agree. If you don't pay attention, it looks like one of the best games I've ever seen for live arcade. Like, but I get my mind stuck on the fact that, like, they never move up here. Like, never. It's just, you know, yeah. but if, you, if you're not paying attention. It, it's just like, yeah, it's, it's a type of game. But I, I, it, it trips me out too. I mean, I'm totally like you. I mean, it's most because we're players. I mean, we are real, yeah. we're professional, all that type of things. So we see all the details, and for us, everything is important. Like, he always stop in, in Binding Commando, he goes from like that, and it's always this way, yeah. right? And he always stops like that, yeah. you know? And if he's right in that position, he's, he should be stopping right here. It's just like, whoosh, or like that, or it goes super fast like that. It's just weird to me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wish they would, you know, add taking the time to put two animation you know, and just reverse it every time. At least you could stop in both ways. I think you don't have the space. I think it's a matter of space, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah, that takes a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of art into it. And, and I'm doing the same thing, very similar again than them. And that's where I'm getting the trouble with at the end is the size of the thing. Yeah. So, so this is a very special system, uh, setup, you guys, that we're going to keep working, working for half of the semester. Basically, we're going to stay in Maya for half of the semester. You guys, let me stop my... Uh, thing right here. We're going to stay in Maya for half of the semester. And let me stop that. 